This world is plastic and fake And I was born a few generations late Illustrate my face, feel this funk Yeah, I'm strange as hell, but I'm real as How's it going everybody? Flint from Flint and Steel Survival Bringing you the uh, unboxing slash first impressions of the Leatherman Signal This is one I've wanted to get for a while This will be my out in the woods or down on my family's property or um, probably a non-work multi-tool. My work multi-tool of choice is the Leatherman Wingman. It's just sturdy. I love the spring-loaded pliers. Uh, the ergonomics are great. This is actually the very first one I had that I broke the actual pocket clip off of. So I put on one of these Night Eyes hip clips. Uh, it's never failed me since, but I do have a, another uh, exact Wingman. Um, with the factory clip still on it that I carry every day. I just didn't bring it downstairs and I didn't want to go back up and get it. So the signal, first thing I really like is it has the carabiner so you can clip it to a pack really easy. It also has a pocket clip which is huge for me. I carry my Leathermans in my left pocket, my regular folder in my right pocket. So having a pocket clip for each is just absolutely critical for the way I carry my EDC. And my other favorite feature is this lock. So this has a little lock. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a little wire that really easily pushes up and down. Uh, you'll see without that lock, it's uh, loose enough to where it would annoy me rattling. Especially if it's on a pack. This way it's uh, got no rattle left. Um, I really like the color combo, the yellow uh, almost yellow orange with uh, like gunmetal gray and black and the silver. I think it looks really great. My dog's trying to mess me up. <laughs> so we'll get this guy open. It, first off the tool you'll see here is it's got a I believe it's a quarter and a three sixteenth. Uh, da, 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 da. Quarter and three sixteenth. So there's one side. That's the quarter. That is the 3 16 So great uh, sizes. Those are pretty common. Then you open up the tool. And on this side you have yourself an awl. Um, the bottle slash can opener. Let's see if I can get these out. The awl kind of stuck on me the first time. There we go. So we have an awl. Bottle and can opener with the wire stripper right there. Um, the other huge feature of this for me that'll be my first Leatherman with this feature is I got the replaceable bits. I need to get the bit kit still. I haven't gotten it. But it's the little flat bits. It came with a Phillips and a flat head. So that'll get me by, especially since it's kind of like a weekend carry. Um, I don't need a bit on it if I'm out in the woods. There's hardly ever anything to screw, <laughs> you know, out in the woods. So... It's a good feature to have. It makes the value go up, in my opinion. And that's all you have on that side. On this side, you have... Um, oh, and by the way, this acts as a hammer. So it's really easy to take out this whistle. You just pop that piece of plastic and then push from the other side and out comes your ferro rod and your whistle. goes back in basically the same way. You just move your wire out of the way, pop that in there, and it goes right like that and locks in um, while we have this open. Needle nose pliers as well as the regular pliers and the replaceable carbide cutters. Found out how valuable those are in the Super Tool 300 that I also have. Um, I almost wouldn't buy a large Leatherman without those replaceable cutters because I actually did replace the ones on my Super Tool. And then to get your sharpener out, this also locks in all the inside tools. You just press that down, and off comes your sharpener, or you could always sharpen it on the knife. Uh, one thing I never did notice is it's hollow on the inside, but it's diamond coated there. So you could easily use it on the knife, or you can always uh, pop it off real quick. And then I believe the tools I'm missing are on the outside. Yeah. So this is your blade. I really, really wish it was a full straight edge, but it does have the serrations. Um, and that's good for some tasks. I just don't usually like my blades to have serrations. But what you'll notice is my very favorite EDC also has serrations. So um, I'm a little, I don't know, what's the word? 
hypocritical. <laughs> I couldn't think of that. Forgive me, guys. Um, in that aspect, that is a huge uh, pain for me. But since I'm always carrying a regular blade, and these are usually just my utility blade backups, it's nice to have one that has serrations once in a while. And then this is your saw. So it's kind of like the uh, small limb saw. It's not going to be cutting through lumber. But two rows of teeth. Very, very sharp. Very nice. I really like it. And the back of this would be killer for your ferro rod. Um, I believe I saw a thing online that said these angles weren't very sharp. So using the back of the saw was the very best bet for striking. Um, and I did try the back of this saw on a regular ferro rod. I don't want to use up this one if I don't have to. It's kind of like my emergency backup if I didn't have another one. So I did try the back of this on a regular rod. And it works just fine. So give you guys some quick size comparison. So far so good. I'm really liking it. Uh, the weight was definitely worth it. So here's my Super Tool 300. As you can see, it's about the same length, but thickness and weight is definitely a lot uh, lighter on this guy than the Super Tool. But you also are losing some of the capabilities, such as the Super Tool has two blades. It's got the full flat um, as well as a full serration. And also, this one has the same saw basically as well as a file. And this file actually has come in handy for me before. And then like I said, this one has replaceable cutters as well. This is my second set on this one. Uh, this was my main carry when I worked in a machine shop doing maintenance on machines and uh, changing out oil, sweeping floors, stuff like that. And then here's another one a lot of people would know. This is the Juice. This is only the C2. So it's almost the exact same thickness, which I think is pretty cool. And uh, very very short comparatively and blade length to blade length is almost going to be uncomparable just because of how small the blade is on this guy so you're looking at like gaining an inch so that's very cool um i don't know what else to say on this one guys if you have any questions leave them below uh, so far like i said i'm really liking it so hope you enjoyed and have a good one bye guys